It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Monday, June 26th. I'm James Spann. Boy, feels good this morning. Feels like fall. A nice dry air mass. Most of the state dry through Wednesday, but moisture comes back later this week. After all, this is summertime. It's supposed to be muggy this time of the year. Water vapor satellite view. Very nice trough over the eastern states. Pulling down some really nice, refreshing air. Look at Coleman, 53 uh, Vic Bell up at Fort Payne has 50, or at uh, Black Creek has 52 to start the day, almost in the 40s. About as cool as it gets for June, we had some cities close to record low maximums yesterday. But we'll be up in the 80s today, mid to upper 80s, but the dew points will stay low and it will feel very comfortable. Around the nation, pretty brisk up north. In fact, look at these observations coming out of North Dakota. Uh, the coldest spot up there is Hazen, North Dakota, 37 at 5 a.m. Central Time. Wow. Around the nation, very quiet. Got some, uh, still some heat issues back in the deserts, but not as hot as it's been in recent days. Severe weather possibilities today. A couple of marginal risks out west tomorrow. A slight risk for parts of Nebraska and South Dakota. And on day three, Wednesday, a risk of severe weather from Kansas up into parts of the western Great Lakes. And all along, we're mostly dry. But later in the week, moisture comes back. Here's the rain for the next seven days. About one inch will bring in scattered showers and storms Thursday, Friday, on through the weekend. But the typical summer type stuff. And no tropical mischief expected for the next five days. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06C run, valid this afternoon at 1 o'clock. And look at the trough in the east. Wow. Very nice day today. Sunny, highs in the 80s. Humidity values stay low. Now, a little disturbance in the northwest flow aloft. The backside of the trough is coming down. And uh, this is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. off the high-res NAM. And this is suggesting there could be a shower or two over extreme North Alabama, the Tennessee Valley. And obviously, it's a very dry air mass, but sometimes in a northwest flow situation like that, these things can hold together. So we'll mention a small chance of a shower or at least widely scattered showers up in the Tennessee Valley after midnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. But most of the state stays dry. This is tomorrow at midday. Again, a dry air mass, highs in the 80s. We'll call it partly to mostly sunny. Wednesday, we're still dry, sunny with upper 80s. But look what happens Thursday. Surface high off the Atlantic coast, south winds kick in, and moisture comes back. We'll bring in the chance of a few scattered showers or storms, and this is Friday. The moisture deepens. And understand, as you see this deal for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's not going to rain all weekend long, but... Scattered showers and storms, absolutely. This is Saturday, and this is Sunday. The sun out at times, highs in the 80s. Go to Monday of next week, week from today. Heights about where they should be, and again, a moist air mass in place. So partly sunny, scattered showers and storms. Better chance during the afternoon and evening, but you can't rule out a late night or morning shower. This is the end of the forecast period. You know, next week is uh, the 4th of July week. This is Thursday, I'm sorry, Wednesday the 5th, heights about where they should be, and again, moisture, scattered showers and storms. So for the moment, for the 4th of July uh, period there, looks kind of warm, muggy, a few scattered showers and storms, the sun out at times, with temperatures really below average. Look at these numbers. Uh, the European is suggesting no 90s for the next 15 days, and that's remarkable if that happens in the mid-July. I will probably bump 90 on a day or two, but still no sign, obviously, of any excessive heat problems around here anytime soon. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.